Hello everyone, I am here with the cast of The Samuel Project. We have Hal Linden and Ryan Ochoa. Thank you guys so much for being here to talk to me. I absolutely loved the movie. Say that again. I absolutely loved the movie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so what was your favorite part of filming in San Diego? Oh, oh that's, a, that's a good Well, Let's start with it. This is my hometown. There you go. So I got, to, I got to come back home. I started my career here, moved up to LA to pursue it, and then I got to come back and shoot a film with a national treasure and a, a good story, a good story. And uh, then again, uh, San Diego is a great place for filmmaking. Uh, people are so generous here, and uh, yeah, I, I definitely will want to come back and do another one. The Samuel Project too. <laughs> I, I, I was I'm, I was here by accident. Actually, I was doing a play at the uh, Old Globe and um, uh, got involved with this project and uh, just stayed on and, and, and actually was doing both at the same time. Yeah. So both your characters are so real and raw and so is your guys' connection in the movie. Do you, how did you guys kind of get along or meet each other before to kind of establish that connection? I love talking about it because it's ringing me back. <laughs> like I remember it. Uh, we, we didn't really know too much about each other when we started. and. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, my grandma knew. My mom and dad knew who I was. They knew who I was working with. Um, but for me, I, going back to what you said, well, thank you, by the way, for the... I think that's what helped that, that chemistry amongst each other um, was that we really didn't know too much about each other. So Ryan and, Sam, Ryan and Hal were building a relationship while, while Eli, Eli and Samuel were. The first time we met, he was on this on his phone uh, <laughs> texting away and I rolled my That's eyes right. and looked at the director I said really this is the kid <laughs> so uh, but I, as as Ryan said we used that that distance between us so we had some place to go and eventually Ryan and Hal are close the way Eli and Samuel became so in the movie, you guys both are very passionate about art and like dry cleaning. Do what are your guys' passions <laughs> in real life? Oh, and customer dry service. Cleaning. He loves dry cleaning <laughs> and customer really service. Dry cleaning. Oh, dry cleaning. <laughs> he, he made sure Samuel was a dry cleaner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are your guys' passions? Uh, uh, I love so much. I love I love football. I love sport. I just love sports in general. Um, but I, I love, I do love art. I love everything that comes with art, acting, music. Hal loves music as well. Um, I'm not the best artist. My family, which is weird, that my all my brothers are amazing artists, like Eli, um, except me. I, I don't know how that happens, right? But uh, yeah. I love dry cleaning. Oh yes. Oh, yeah. uh, uh, I'm a, a lousy golfer. Uh, but a, and a passionate musician. Maybe leave it at that. And of course, I think the the uh, craft of acting is is uh, I recommend it to everyone. Can I add on to something about yeah, you? Yeah. You know what Hal's also good at? He's what? a not good, great, a great storyteller. Uh, he I believe it. not too many people know, but I, I, they should. Is that Hal had a lot of insight and intel and in, uh, on the story of Samuel's character, Eli's character, the, the whole film in general. Him and Mark worked side by side throughout for weeks, really honing in and uh, honing down the story. And uh, the story, a big part of it, Samuel's backstory comes from Hal, so they need to know that. What were some of your guys' favorite scenes to film? Uh, I, have, uh, I have three favorites. Uh, one, one of my, my first is the one where Eli and Samuel are talking on the beach. It's like the first real conversation that they have amongst each other. There's some humor in it. Eli's kind of warmed up to Samuel. And that's when you find out he is very, uh, he's curious. You kind of see Eli's curiosity really start. Um, I love the wasabi scene with Kasim. Uh, I think all the young kids like that, obviously. And, but another thing is, I feel that is also like a real conversation that two friends would have at school with each other. Um, kind of just telling each other's passions and man, life at home is tough. Yeah, my dad wants me to you know, work at the shop. I feel like that's something that two friends would talk about in a, there was some, you know, in a funny way too. Uh, and the third one, oh, the third thing I like about the film is, is all the animation transitions and the green screen effects. There's not too many, there's no explosions or anything, <laughs> but some of the drawings weren't final. Well, for example, the final project wasn't done for months after. Not too many people know that. 
we just focus on our relationships. The project was added later, but we were just looking at a green screen and that was added and me being a filmmaker myself, I, I like those uh, elements to it. Yeah, that so. was awesome. Now you're too. My, uh, <laughs> actually, I hated the scene where we, in the, uh, on the beach. Because, wow. Because wow. I had to eat a grilled cheese sandwich <laughs> You that like was so greasy, you oh. cannot believe how greasy. So you saw real acting there as I was enjoying that sandwich. It was awful. That was that. Uh, I think my favorite scene is is the one in which uh, Eli convinces Samuel by showing him the picture. I saw that picture. That if you, that what turned Samuel's around is that. My God, there he was with Uma, and the memory, it all floods back right in that one moment. And here's a kid who actually made that picture, you know. That's, that's the turning point for Samuel. So my last question is, what do you want fans to take away after seeing the film? I want, I want generations to talk to each other. I think that's what the picture's about. I, there's a, we don't want to waste the wisdom, the experience, the knowledge, the, the defeats, the, the, the failures of past generations. We've got to pass it down to the new generation. Maybe they can avoid the stupidity that we did. You know, I mean, there's a lot to be learned by the next, by, from older generations, even if it's what not to do. So um, I think that's, that's the one thing you want to take away because, and in the end, it's the art that brings the generations together. I want kids to follow their dreams, go for what they want, no matter what it is, whether it's art, music, it doesn't matter what. Against all odds, you can, it starts with here. Um, com, you know, start those conversations with your, with, between generations. The young kids, it, it's our goal. Like we say, it, it should be both. It should be for, you know, grandparents, parents and grandkids. It should be collectively, but, our generation should be the ones, you know, put their phones aside for one day and have a, a, a nice, have some coffee with their grandma or grandfather. Um, and go see the movie with all your family. I mean, this isn't a date night film. This is a movie for everybody to go see together. And uh, we just, we had a great time making it and, and we're, yeah, we're just glad that, you know, you're and we, here. And we're proud of it. Yeah. yeah, the yeah, movie is so touching and so tell. wonderful. If you can't no, you tell. Can tell them again how much you loved it. It was touching and wonderful, and I absolutely loved it. <laughs> okay. So thank you guys for talking Our with pleasure. me today. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you guys for watching. Hope you guys go see the Samuel Project.